Peter is faithful to you right now. Let, let her answer that. Do you think that Peter is faithful well, to you right be. now? Well, I'm here to tell you that he's not. How do you know? Because I just sat on it whenever I want. Whenever I want. Wednesday, I said, Peter, please come to my make me me. And what did you do? Did you? Really did you? Really? Did you? Yeah, I did. My girl Juju's in town, so me and Kim decided to crash her photo shoot because she's putting out a book and I want to know all about it. <laughs> I have so much to catch my girls up on. The drama, my babies, and the bit of baby mama crew. So Yan, what's been going on? How the kids? Girl, it's so much going on. If I had a week to tell you all the stuff that's going on, we Well, we have right now, because we're always busy. Let's talk about it. What's happening? So, I didn't get invited to the graduation for a Little Men DC or a scene, but I decided to come because I want to see my babies. Absolutely. And I claim all four of them as my children. Right, absolutely. And, you know, it got very heated, very nasty, and Erica was the main one that was very. She the had quiet all, one? The quiet one, girlfriend. This is what I'm saying. She had all this built up aggression and anger. She said, oh yeah, me and Men DC legally share this same apartment. You gonna tell me you share that place with who, my man? I'm, are you crazy? And I kept calm, I kept cool. Absolutely. But the more I went home, the more I thought about it, I was pissed you and off. Madder and madder, so then I had to teach her a lesson. Listen, you don't share nothing. So I went to that house and I changed the lock. <laughs> I can't, I really what can't. What ended up happening it's after all of that, though? Nothing. I left a note on the door, like, if you have a problem with anything that I've done, please come please find come me. Please come see me. Come see me. Okay. She popped up at my event that I was setting up for. You what's the problem? The you, and then she kept what? threatening me. She kept threatening me. Watch. Watch what's going to happen. Watch what? Watch what's going to happen. happen. Right. I have to do what I want to do. I have power to turn you over everything that that man has to do. I can change the locks. Now, what you want to do? That's your husband. You have so. power of attorney. So what's the problem? Who can come question you about what? Well, with me and Mendici, there's so much to our union Absolutely. that is beyond the power of attorney. And the reason why I say this is because the night before my wedding, uh -huh. May 24, 2015, I was advised if you sign off on this marriage registration, since it's please not sign, and you might have to pay restitution, you could be responsible as well. This man not only tried to marry me once, and I said, this is not right, but twice. And now I'm telling him some, another reason as to why this won't play out the way we dreamt it to. So yeah, what you trying to say? Like, you guys are not married? What I'm saying, Kim, is I have a union with Mendici, but I did not go into a partnership with Mendici and the government. <gasps> Where's this dude at, yo? How long are we gonna be out here waiting for him? Rolling up like this in the infinity. Grand entrance. You know, after talking to Petey the other day, I reached out to Rich and said, yo, let's all get together. I gotta come clean and let Rich know that I might be the one that planted this seed in Olivia's head. Cold out here, yo. What the f y'all got me out here in the He had me out here the other day and playing basketball in the cold. Gave me some information that we need to talk about. Before you got to the restaurant the other night, I was talking to Olivia. She said, don't you remember we had a conversation once in my kitchen? That's what we talked about, stealing from me or whatever. At the time, I was like, y'all know what you're talking about. But when I thought about it, like the next day or so, I was like, I remember the conversation I think she was referring to. If I remember correctly, she was like, yo, it's like, hey, my money ain't coming in right now. I gotta try to figure out what my money is and all that. Well, I was like, all right, cool. You can figure that out. You can see where your record sales are going, so that way you can figure out if you owe money anyway. The conversation was general, though. Your name was never mentioned. At some point in time, I guess you took that and they ran with it. Uh... I knew it was Cisco who got in Olivia's ear. Now the problem I'm having is you don't call nobody a liar and a thief, that you don't do that. This is my reputation, this is what I do for a living. This is essentially 
my lifeline. So I take this very seriously. So you should have told me. If somebody came to me and said something about money, I would have been like, oh, by the way, Shorty came to me and was like, yo, bro, there's something about she But she didn't she reference you. Like, I get it. You I see what I'm saying? It. From now on, if you recall something that you didn't say, I'm going to put it on the table. We brothers. No secrets, man. Got to be transparent, Rich. Yeah. We don't keep it a honey with each other, then we ain't got to talk about it no more. I'm done. I'm done with that. Y'all keep talking about transparency, and this is bothering me. So since we're going to be here, we're going to put it all on the table, and we're going to get past it, right? Yeah. Right. When you going to tell this I mean to stay with you last Super Bowl? No secrets, man. Got to be transparent. Please. But y'all keep talking about transparency. Right. When you going to tell this I mean to stay with you last Super Bowl? She came to Atlanta, and she stayed with Cisco. Yo, Rich, really? Amina is Peter's ex-wife, who he was in love with. Come drink with me, Got you home to the I hate it when you. I hate being you, too. I love you, too. I don't even know. Just in time. Just in time. But I know for a fact that Amina spent the night at Cisco's not too long ago. I just got this info. But I was gonna hold back because I knew that Peter was spaz if he got this information. But you know what? F all that. Cisco admits that he's the reason I'm in this mess with Olivia. So now, in the spirit of transparency, you clean up your mess with Peter. Hey, hold on. Is it true? Did that happen? I ran into her at a Super Bowl party. She was with her friend. Her friend left her. I was like, all right, well, you know, well, let's make sure we find your friend so you can get back to the hotel. She couldn't find her friend, and then her phone died, and she had no place to stay. So I said, yo, if you want, man, you can stay in my, I got a big house. And that's it. Nothing happened. She's like a sister to me. My man, so you telling me my ex-wife slept over your house, and you not telling me because nothing happened. Yeah, right. Nothing happened. Why didn't you tell me? Let me ask you this. So I could call your baby moms right now and tell her to come stay with me for the weekend? Because I could do that. You know I can. It's the mother of my kids, Peter. I don't play that shit. Don't cross that line with me, Peter. I will. Like, my like, if, if your baby mom's was in town and I said you could stay with me, I'm not gonna face the Tarnish my reputation. Now he's got a whole world of problems that he needs to deal with. Because Peter Guns doesn't easily forgive or forget. Yo, he got at me first. <laughs> nah, he got me first. Come on. It's hard. Look out. Bottom line, Cisco's a sucker. Because if my kid's mom had to stay at his crib for any matter, he's supposed to pick up the phone and say, yo, listen, Amina's in distress. Stand with me tonight. We all the way a sucker. I don't know what happened, and I'm gonna assume the worst. And I'm gonna handle it like it was the worst. What the f are y'all doing? I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. I don't play that. I will come after anyone who disrespects my family. That's what every man should take that position. That's the mother of my kids, bro. I don't have to explain why I defended that. That's what you wanted? You know damn well I would never do nothing with a meat or Tara. I didn't think you was gonna start fighting. Like, he gonna my baby. Like, yo, my you crazy? You crazy? You gotta do with this. Nah, man, that's disrespectful, man. He know better than that. He was trying to get under my skin and be an ass. You shouldn't have tackled him. Tackle him? He looked like he put his head through that windshield. All these big ass bouncers grabbing me like that. That's disrespectful. Yo, we gotta figure this out, my This is the start of a whole new war. This is gonna be a problem for everybody involved. The definition of what's done in the dark comes to the light is Cisco Rosado. He always does some and it always comes out. Cisco, you did that, you up, handle your business. Crazy. I moved into this building so that my children can be closer to their father. Something that I would have never done if I had known that he and Amina were still together. Peter just flat out lied to me, and that became very clear when Amina ambushed me the other day at the pier. At first, I was angry at both of them. But then I realized that Amina and I are just looking for the same thing from Peter. The truth. See, wow. 
What's up? You looking good. Thanks, sir. So I'm taking matters into my own hands, and I'm inviting Peter over so that I can get the answers that both Amina and I are looking for. You making me something to eat? Nope, I'm making it for the boys when they get in. What's good with you, pretty? You all right? I would like to be okay. What's wrong now? So I'm working out yesterday, and I run into Amina. Mm -hmm. I got these women living in the same building, and I knew they were bound to bump into mm -hmm. each other at some point. But based on the look on Tara's face, I guess that meeting wasn't so neighborly. I can only imagine that has everything to do with yours truly. I don't understand why Amina is asking me questions about you if you guys are not together. I don't know what you tell the girl when you guys are at home. However, what you said to me was that you guys were not together. And me sleeping with you or whatever the case may be, I don't owe anybody anything. However, I don't like that you just flat out lie. Like, what's going on? My thing is, why do you care? I care because I don't want to be in your mess. Truth is, I'm never there. I'm on the couch. We don't I'm just sleep together. It's not like that. So she knows that you guys are not like that, is what I'm saying. Does she know that you guys are like that or not? She knows that we're not like that, but she doesn't she, she doesn't know that we're not together. She knows she ain't happy. Nobody's happy in this Let me tell you something, Peter. I'm not up for your games. I didn't move here for this. I know that. When Tara and I slept together, me and Amina weren't rocking like that. I didn't lead Tara on. She was a willing participant in everything that went on. But technically, yes, Amina and I are not on the same page about our relationship. So I can see why Tara feels some kind of way about that. But I'm not trying to play any games here. What I'm trying to do is eliminate my out of the fuckery that you and her have created. I moved up here for our kid. Okay, so is the Not point. for you to f around with my emotions and my feelings like I'm not human. That's why the f I moved. I have given a lot to two people who don't deserve it. Stop but the least you can that. do Stop is be truthful. Don't lie. I only agreed to do all of this because you said you were not with her. What do you we know, do now? First place we can start now is you being truthful for once. I ask Amina to come by so that you can tell the truth about where things stand with the two of you. Because she'll well, be here in a minute. I mean, like, what are you... She'll be here in a minute. I'm not Come she, she be, she because be here. I'm not living like this, Peter. So what are we having a, a snitch festival? We're having a family reunion. Hey. Hello, hello, come in. Thanks for coming down. Whether Peter wants to tell it or not, at the end of the day, Amina and I both deserve the truth once and for all. Hopefully, the truth will set you free. I asked you to come down because he was saying that you guys were not together. That's not true. We together, right? Yeah, I can see that. So why are you lying and saying we're not? I just said it feels like I mean, are you guys together or, or is she telling you guys you are together? What are you doing? Can you answer, are we together or not? Well, uh, the answer is no. Are we together yeah, or not? Together, but does it feel are, like are we together? together or not? Yes, yes or no. Have you broken up with me? Have I broken up with you? No, no. that hasn't happened. Together? It just doesn't feel that way as well. I'm saying. That's not what you said. You said that you guys were not together. You said that you guys haven't been together. And every time I turn around, you say, Amina is something that went too far. All I want to do is run out of Tyra's apartment and get away from these women. I have love for both of them, but I still continue to hurt them. I know it's my fault, so all I can do is take it till it's over. Why are you with me? Because I fell in love with you and you had the baby and all that. That's why. Well, that's the first time you ever said that. Since we're here now, and this seems to be the only way for you to tell the truth, let me ask you something else. So you're still trying to get with her. Is that true? That's happened, yeah. That's happened. I did, well. And now I'm not somebody that hit it's somebody, constantly, but constantly, constantly, say constantly saying, I want to come home. Do you not say that? Sometimes, but I also say I can never see that either sometimes, because you've always been angry and mad. I yes, know. because look what you did. Of course I'm always right. angry and mad. I have a right to be angry. So I'm standing here listening to my husband arguing with his side bitch about whether or not he wants to be with her. Tara didn't set up this meeting to get the truth. She set up this meeting because she wants to break up Peter and I for good. This conniving little bitch is the biggest hypocrite I've ever seen. I let you move into our building because I thought it would be the best thing for the children. Now I'm realizing that it was just part of your grand plan of still around with my husband. I've kept my mouth shut for way too long, and I won't be silent anymore. No, I'm you saying sometimes, said, sometimes, well, no, sometimes I say, how can I see that myself? Did. Can I say something? Said. For you to say you're moving on from Peter and still arguing that much about it, it's up. That, I, that I'm not, you that I'm Just because you want to maintain your image of a strong black woman, you moved on from him. Just because, but guess what? I mean, you still him. You still him. Guess you still what? You still husband. And I will when I want to. How about that? Y'all love each other, and y'all need to be together. Be and be happy together, because y'all can't 
can't let each other go. And that's what it is. You don't love me? You don't love me? Did I say I didn't love you? You don't love me? Did I say that? You say I made a mistake that went too far? Are you kidding me? By the way, I'm pregnant. Song. So maybe I can sell some other records. No matter what, this is this could be either the beginning of something beautiful or it could be a parting gift. You know what I'm saying? Right. At the end of the day, I wasn't gonna do what I did last year, despite of what mother thing about me. Which is what? What you mean? Which which is what? What did you do last year? Should I wasn't gonna take the record regardless because I felt like at the end of the day, I'm bigger than that. Listen, I'm gonna let you guys talk. I'm gonna okay. grab a drink. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm so there go your drink right there. There go your drink right there. That hot ass. Wow. <laughs> So, yeah, you, you, you said... So, yeah, I said I'm about my business. Last year, you didn't sign the contract, you don't get the record. This year, you sign a contract, you get the record. I'm just a little, like... You know, I don't know if you can have a conversation right now. I don't know how you're feeling, but... I'm, yeah, I'm fine. You're a grown man, and you know that Erica is not involved with somebody else. And I don't think you respect our relationship. I'm trying to understand where my disrespect lies. If Erica chooses to kiss me, to I'm f me, about to that. do okay, I'm not talking about that. All right. So what are we when, talking about? What do you mean f me? If Erica chooses to have relations with me, you, dude, come on. Are we really gonna have this conversation? Do you really want to do this? I mean, you mad because what? Who's mad? All right. So you happy? So if you happy that we kissing and f and hanging out and doing who's what we f though? Who's fing? Why you keep saying that word? What? You mean what I'm saying? With me and Erica Huh? I'm saying to me and Erica's What do you mean you and Erica's I'm getting hot. Yeah, go outside and get some air. Where's Erica? I don't know what the bitch is talking about, but what he's saying better not be true. Erica already fed up once, and I gave her a second chance, so there better be a good explanation for this one. One for dollars, zero for sin. Let's play this game, mother Really? I need a room. I need a room. Come over here. What is this that bitch says that you're still I'm talking to you. Hold on. Talk to me first. First of all, no, talk to me first. First of all, I need to close the door. Rich's weak ass has to ruin the one day that I'm in the spotlight. I just finished my big performance, and the last thing I would have thought was that Rich would go out his way, not only to ruin my night, but try to ruin my relationship with Sin. So this is what we do tonight, out of all nights? This is how much you care about me? Slow down, relax, slow down, it's a good day. This is the kind of you bring to my spot right now? This is the kind of energy, this is the kind of drama? Clearly you don't care, right? Just, just admit it, so that I can stop giving a f Cause once you admit it, then I can really seriously throw all of this shit away. Cause this is not worth that to me anymore. Mena. It's too much drama with you, my Every time I'm in a situation that deals with you, it's something. Like, let me f get me. a break for once. I'm sick of fighting. I'm sick, sick of the of drama. Sick I'm sick of the bullshit. I just want to move the f on from it. Then God bless you. Then God bless me. And exactly. God, God f bless me. 
I'm so tired to the point that, like, I really don't. I'm You're not where you want to be. I'm done fighting, and I'm done with you. Clearly, this is where I want to be, because if I wanted to be elsewhere, I would have, Rich. You do make me happy, and it's because of like this. You're selfish. So You're selfish. So stop me. I'm done you. How the be fatter than your one? Erica's not gonna play me like no fool when we were just kicking it at my crib just one week ago. Let's look at our recent history. She tells me she loves me, she asked me to love her, all while she's dating someone else. Then she hits on me multiple times in the studio, then she calls me to smash. You know what, I'm sick of Sin trying to tell me what it is, and Erica trying to play me like I'm the bad guy. There's no way I'm letting either one of them have the last word on this one, and that's for damn sure. Now I gotta go do me. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. turning back with Rich and I. I'm completely done with him. It's the same this cornball pulled last year. He with my head, my relationships, and my money. I refuse to ever let him get away with it again. And tell you, bitch, I'd rather send than you anyway. You just mad because I'm not better than I've ever you. My record, my life, everything is Richie Dallas. God bless you. You know how we roll. We're both gluttons for punishment. At the end of the day, we argue, we fight, it is what it is, but somehow she always seems to find her way back to me. This isn't the end of Erica and Richie D, because at the end of the day, mama, you're nothing without me. Let her go, let her go, let her go. I want to be my self. I don't give a about none of them. None of them! Figured, you know, this is a perfect time than any. To hang out. To talk. Yeah, I want to talk or something. I mean, should I leave? Probably not. Nah, nah. You're, you're an let intricate me, uh, part of the conversation. Let me let me do the talking. Let me start. So Peter said that he couldn't watch the kids tonight because he was going to be in the studio with Amina. So I decided to take Kay Michelle's advice, show up to the studio, and put everything on the table. It seems like Amina is the only one who doesn't know the truth. And I think it's about time that she knows what Peter's true colors really are. First off, I want to just tell both of y'all that um, this energy that y'all have between y'all should be aimed towards me because um, I haven't been honest with either one of y'all. What? When have you been honest with let me? You? Just, let me just finish, hey. And I just want to start by saying um, there's no excuse for what I've done. It's, it's not even about excuses, Peter. It's about this is a pattern that you have. Not just now. We've been here before. True. And so I at think, some point... But, but we was never the same after the first situation. So what I'm exactly. saying... Exactly. <laughs> like, I don't understand what... What don't you understand, Amina? And I'll help you. Don't you see that you you had lost him a long time ago? Like, I just want to understand as a woman. Like, you didn't no, know he wasn't faithful to you? And he's not faithful to you either. I don't know how you would know that, but... Do you think but, that Peter is faithful to you right now? Let, let her answer that. Do you think that Peter is well, faithful you better to you right be. now? Well, I'm here to tell you that he's not. How do you know? Because I just sat on it whenever I want. Whenever I want. Wednesday, I said, Peter, please come my make me me. And what did you do? Did you? Did you? Really? Did you? Yeah, I did. Okay, good. But, you know, it's not easy just walking away I like I felt bad. Yo, she's going through a lot. So what the f you my husband? I got kids there. Okay, so you can do whatever you want, Steph. Are you kidding me? I'm not saying it's right. It's wrong. No, it's absolutely not right. <laughs> you. I knew there was still something going on that I didn't know about. But instead of telling me the truth, he tore my heart out of my chest. The worst part is that I believed he would change for me. And I feel like a f fool. I really fell for the same that's Tara. Hey. F you. F you. Let me say something. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? What are you going to say? Oh, my God. This is giving me a headache. Say it. You always told me if I wanted to work things out with her, I could. Then you should let me know, and then I would But I'm not. Out. That's 
not what and I'm doing. Be fine with it. But that's not what I'm doing. Go back to her. I'm Go not. Back to that. That's not what I'm doing. Well, now you could. You better be because you're not having me anymore. Yo, this is f***ed up. I can't believe Tara did this, man. I knew this would eventually happen, but I didn't want both of them to find out like this. I love both of them, and I know this is my fault. God damn. Good luck with that. What are you talking go. about? Good luck with I that. I need to Good talk luck. to you. Yo, Amina, let me talk. Really what, Peter? Do you think I give a about our hurt feelings in your little relationship? I put 13 years, 13 years and two kids. For years, Peter has been a liar, a cheater, and just a downright scumbag. And when he can't deal with his issues, he just runs off to the next bitch. Maybe one day, Peter will look back on all of this and see how many people he's hurt by being a coward. But for now, I feel like Peter deserves whatever is coming his way. Of all the women that you have children with, you have always ended up here. One day, Peter, you're gonna have to really look inside, okay? And fix that problem first. I know. Can I just talk to my husband for a second? Sure, talk to your husband. And hopefully one day, I'll stop f***ing your husband. Every time I take a step forward in my life, it feels like it's always something pulling me back to a bad place. Amina and I are working past the grief for her ending the pregnancy, and we're starting to move forward again. But now that Tara's pregnant, holy I can't hold this news from Amina, but I know that once I tell her the truth, I could lose a fab. I hope Amina doesn't give up on me, but after everything I've done, I give up on myself. I can't even blame her for that. Never give up on us. I love that song, yeah, it's so dope. Because it says I never give up on you. What's going on? Uh, a lot. It's not easy to tell you. Tell you stuff that I know is not good because I feel like for the first time in our relationship since we started, that I've been really trying to make you happy. I know, but Peter, you gotta to be honest. Right. Like, what, what, what worse can it get than what, what's already happened? I've never been more afraid in my life to look a woman in her eyes and tell her the truth. But I know I owe her that. So here goes nothing. Well, I mean, I already told you, you know, the time frame of when I was still dealing with Tara. I told yeah, you we had, that, we had that one night nice stand. And, and you did it again? Nah, I haven't been. I have been totally all about because you. Because from what I've been feeling, it's you've been, you've been home every night. You've been home with me. Exactly, and I have been. So then what? Well, at the time when I was, was dealing with her. She got pregnant. Oh, you're lying. Tell me you're lying. Tell me you're lying. Peter, tell me you're lying. Tell me you're joking. I'm not joking. Tell me you're joking. I'm not joking. I, I tell know. me you're joking. You're gonna tell me you're joking. I just, I just know the time. Tell me, tell me, you're gonna tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, it's not true, it's not true, it's not true, it's not true. It's not true. It's not true. It's not true. Sometimes love is just not enough. It oh, takes yeah. more love. You have to have a friendship. Mm -hmm. You have to have a whole lot of compassion, patience, trust. 
and all that stuff. Yep. Feel great. And you are really yeah. quiet over there, Miss. Yeah. I think it's a great move. And, you know, I'm here to listen mm -hmm. and get to know all of you, ultimately. Everybody's different and all the men are different. And just because I might be going through something, that don't mean that, you know, every man in hip hop or every rapper is the same, because they're all different. I'm happy that you're leaving him. I'm happy that you found your own and you're coming into, you know, just being a woman as your own. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, just to let you know, like, you know, I dated Fab three years ago. And I just want to let you know that here and now. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else to say to mm -hmm. you. I don't know how else to present it I mean, it's it not you. a shocker. You look like the type. I mean, I mean, I don't know what that means because what I'm saying to you is that it's, it's not, not surprising it, because okay, that, you're one of many. Listen, I don't want to just be around you and you didn't know this. I'm letting you know as a woman, heart to heart, mm -hmm. that's what happened. Come on, bitch. Did you just do that? Did you just ask yourself out like that? You have no regard for what this girl has been through. I just thought it was just me. So you dated him three years ago, but right. my son is three years old. Right. So three years ago, I was pregnant. So that says a lot. It's good that you're telling me that now because I am moving on. Maybe three years ago, if you would have told me that, it would have hurt me. And that's not something that I agree with. And that's why I'm in the space that I'm in now. Right. Let them feel how they feel, but this is between me and you. You just telling me that makes me feel better that I'm in this place. Cheers to that. And again, Peace. I'm a real ass bitch. Yo, be be just talking and about your and I glasses. No, at right. the end of the day, I, okay. she I love her feelings. feelings. Years, love time, I effort, love, and sacrifice. So it never does. You know what? Maybe her intentions were good, but her outcome was just tasteless, heartless, and tacky. If somebody <laughs> you told you some <laughs> like that, uh, listen uh, to me. Uh, it's ugly. But it uh, could, it's uh, not ugly. Uh, this, is, this is not ugly. Pretty, it could have gotten pretty. ugly, but this is not ugly. Wait a minute, Kim, Kim, Go ahead, Kim, explain yourself. Kim, how is she feeling? I'm not trying to have conflict with you. I'm not trying exactly. to. But if but you want it, it's Listen, him. listen, I brought all y'all. I could have took her to the side. And now you loud no, and what? Saying, what ugly. is a problem? Listen, now it's a problem? Not. This has nothing to do with Chrissy. I wanted to tell Emily so we can move forward. And this is not Chrissy's place to say anything. Let Emily tell oh, me how God. she feels. Emily is not the most voice. She can talk. She's a grown ass woman exactly. with a child. Because she doesn't talk. talk up is why oh, she's in this position. What happened with you, bitch? What you happened? tell me. Oh, now what happened? Bitch? Yeah. What? Why are you feeling You want to go with me? You sure? Why? Are you ready? Right? Are, are you strapped in? What no. you want to do? Calm the f the is down. it your man we talking about? You, you better get her. You better get her. You better get her now. Or else your boss got to leave. You wanna get up? Yeah, I'm get, I'm gonna get up. What you want? What you want? Wait, 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 no, 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 Of you to think that it was okay to do that to somebody is just blowing my mind. And I lost it. It was not my finest hour. You look pretty. You know you gotta talk to me. I don't wanna talk to you right now. I told like, you don't talk to her. I ain't mad at you, but I don't wanna talk to you right now. Did Prissy just sucker punch me? Did she not think about what the repercussions could be? That's not a good way for nobody to find out about <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Like, what? She's gonna attack me? Oh, her life is over right now. Ta da! A studio. Yep, this is where I work. I wanted you to hear the song, the infamous track that Mr. Rich Daughters got for you. <laughs> this better be good. So, this is the song, reference track. All right, play it. Rich to record my new song. And I decided to bring Sing along with me. I want her to hear the song and love it as much as I do.
Regardless, I was gonna come clean with Sin. But after talking with Albie, I realized that now is definitely the time. I can't have Sin in Rich's presence without even knowing what's been going on. I like it. All right, that's dope. Rich helped you with this, like finding the song. Like, mm -hmm. I'll give that to him. That's a dope song. I'm not gonna lie to you, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, regardless of what you feel about Rich, at the time when I was with Rich, I really wanted it to work because I really did feel for him. And you know, I'm always That's what like relationship. Yeah, relationship. And when he brought the track to me, he was saying everything that I wanted him to say, like that. And caught up in that moment. It was just a kiss. Erica. <laughs> no. No, no, listen. no, no, wait, wait, no, I'm serious. For real, for real. Like, my heart just dropped. No, sin, don't do Erica. that. Erica. Erica. That's f***ed up, Erica. No, but it wasn't. What, it what means it? nothing. I swear to you, it means nothing. I have to laugh, because if I don't laugh, OK, so now what? And and you signed to this mother And you want me to be OK with that? No one's perfect. I'm How not I, perfect. It's not about being perfect. It's common sense. You're clearly not over rich. Are you confused? Do you not know what you want to do? Like, what? I do. do I do. I want is your you. Heart, I want you. Is your heart still there? No. Your heart isn't there. You're over rich, but you're still kissing them. I need you to know that I'm remorseful. I understand I fed up. And I, at the end of the day, I'm not trying to lose you, Sin. You know how I feel about you. You know that. You know that. I, no, I don't want to hurt you. Oh, to be honest you with you, know man. how I feel about you, Erica. I, I don't want to hurt you, you, man. So I, I had to you. tell you. I had to tell you it matters. Like you were supposed to be me. my bitch, Erica. I am. You were supposed to be my bitch, and this is what the f you do in the studio, Erica, Sing. really? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, and I need you to know that I'm sorry. It was just a kiss. It was just a kiss, no more, no less, I swear. It was just a kiss with Rich. I trusted you, Erica. I trust you. Look at me. You're not working with this. If you're gonna work with him, then we done. And you're gonna, you're gonna have to pick. I'm not doing this. I'm not doing this. What are you doing here? My record. My studio session. It's like really, Erica? Erica, I'm talking to you. This is what the we're doing, really? He, I told you I was here to record the song. He has nothing to do with it. Erica, he has nothing to do with y'all kissing? What the f does that mean? Um, uh, what are we doing about well, this? Are you, are you confused? No, yeah, I'm confused, because this is my studio session. And, and I'm about my business, and, and this is what we do. You doing. about your business? Really? Yeah. You about yeah, your business? Absolutely. Can see my girls being about your business? You long. I'll blend it to you for a minute. Yo, shut the f up. You shut man. the f up. Shut the f up. Hey, yo, fast, get out of my session. No, don't talk to Get out of my session. I'll stay right here. I'll stay right here. You're not going to that's your gonna do personal. I'm here on my record. I'm here about my. Quick, like hold on, minutes, this is my session. All right, can give me five minutes, please? This. No, y'all can take this across the street to TGI Fridays five in five a Chinese minutes. restaurant. Get the this out is my. This is my session. I'll tell you for this. Five who minutes. Who are you? Five what minutes. Who you? kissing your girl and managing her and doing whatever Yo, the I please. Know. Here we go again. I come in the studio ready to work, and Erica and her girlfriend decide it's time to wild out. Erica says she's trying to handle this situation, but it doesn't look like it to me. I'm tired of this drama. Give me five minutes. Minutes. I do what Please. I want to do. Leave. I do what I want to do Leave. when Rich. I want to. Rich. Oh, Rich. Rich. Respect. 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 How the f you mean respect her? Respect this is my her. Okay, both Rich. of y'all get out. Rich. Now both of y'all can get out, Rich. and you can tell her to give you the record. This has nothing to do with you. Exactly. Go. So I'm going to your here. business. If I stay here, I'm going to smack him. I'm still pushing forward. We're trying to find a new talent for our label. Yandy knows how messy the situation's got between her and T, but at the same time, I mean, it's dope. I've talked Yandy into checking her out again. We really want to see how this crowd reacts to her tonight. Why do I love you? Thank y'all, everyone. I'm gonna take a small break, but I'll be back with more music, so I hope y'all stick around. Thanks. Do we think she's right for the label? I mean, it's dope, but she just needs that hit. Well, that, that's your that forte. Dope. Right. That's what you do. So we're going to find her a smash, and then we're good. I just wish she wasn't coming into this game messy. It's definitely messy. I'm looking at her like this, Rich. Right. I'm sad I ain't a side one. I'm going to hit her with the. Speaking of the devil, there she walks. Hi, y'all. What's up, girlfriend? Thank you. How are you? What up, creep? What's up? I'm glad to see you. Happy y'all came through. I mean, I 
manage people's careers, not their personal lives. Tara's my friend, so I got my guards up. If Amina ain't no superstar, I ain't got no time for that. So what are you thinking? How are you feeling about your music? I've just been doing, like, me, like, 100% just what comes doing from you. here. Not thinking about what's hot right now, what should I do to get ahead. Like, I've just been 100% doing music that comes from my heart. Like, Every time I see you perform, it's a love song. <laughs> I've lately struggled with, should I go back to caring what people think or what people like me? I'm sure you don't care about what people think. When Amina sat down, it was clear Yandy was taking some jabs at it. It was some subliminals that maybe Amina didn't even pick up on. Tonight, it was definitely clear a Yandy was Team Tarver. From seeing what you guys have seen so far of me, like, what do you think? My honest opinion is you have a great voice. Thank you. Something that I look for, that star quality. When I walk in a room, I want to know that you're a star. Right. We don't do sides. Do you feel like you're a star? Yeah. Why would you play second? Why would you play second? Hello. Hi. Hello. What's up? This is Hello. Hello. How are you? Hey, babe. Oh, hi, honey. Okay. Good to see you. What's up? Good seeing you guys. What's going on? Amina had a performance, so we came out to see her perform. Oh, awesome. You want to sit down? Um, yeah, I can sit down. Okay, I will get up. Thank you. What a gentleman. Absolutely. That's me. This is what you meant, Yandy. What's going on? I guess at some point you and I, we had to meet. I'm actually kind of glad that you came. What are you so excited about seeing you for? I do know that Peter told you what's going on between him and I, kind of, sort of, but not really. OK, I'm, I'm all ears. What he told me is that he told you he's with me. That's true. He said that, but there's more to it. Do you understand that Peter has a family? Did you, did you not know that? I knew that Peter had a son. Jameson. I did not know about Kaz up until like three months ago. Let's just use your basic common sense here. A man with children, with a woman that he lives with. How do you think that it's remotely possible that we're living together as a roommate situation when you know that we have children? Did you think those kids are immaculate conception and he's well, helping out? Let me say out? this, like, I'm gonna tell you exactly what he told me, which is I'm still there for the sake of the kids. You can't tell me that you have no idea. I really feel bad, I feel guilty, knowing what I know now that you're still with him like that. I feel really guilty, but it's kind of like I'm so deep in it, it's not just that we're each other. We love each other. I mean, you know. well, I'm sorry to tell you, but I know that he loves me. I would like to see the facts, Amina. I can prove it. Let's see it. Give it here. Let's prove it. What do you have? Give it to me. I'm ready. I didn't even, I don't even want to go there. Let's go. I'm like, ready to go. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. You don't believe that he loves me? Not really. I feel bad. Like, I want you to know. Like, I'm not, like, here saying, like, I don't give oh, a f I don't give a flying f about, okay. your, about your sorry, sad feelings. Honestly, it's life it happens in life. People fall in love with other people, and he fell in love with me. I can't, I couldn't I help. can't say that it's love. I, can't I can say it's an outlet. I'm listen, an outlet. If listen, I like you know to go what? to great you want me to tell you something too? I love going to great I'm an outlet. Playing around. I'm his wife. And ain't nothing fake about that. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. Hey, yo, it's Safari. Listen, thanks for watching, and you are now tuned in with the brand new Love and Hip Hop YouTube, all right? Subscribe. Click it. There's a button right there. Hit it right there. And subscribe, all right? Cheer it!